In this video, we're going to talk about how do you use a battery like this to power any kind of light that you want. So we're going to talk a little bit about transforming power. So I've got an 18 volt battery and I've got a 12 volt light. And if this 18 volts gets to the light as 12, as 12 volts, we're okay. But if the 18 gets to here as an 18 volt power source, it could potentially fry the electronics if they're not designed to handle more than 12 volts. So what you have to do is you have to transform the power. There's one other concern too, and it's the wattage. So your transformer has to be able to handle the wattage, meaning the volts times the amps that you're gonna send through it to the light, or that will burn the transformer up. So let's go ahead and take a look at the circuit. So I've got positive coming out of the battery, comes through the switch in series and up to the positive side of the input of the transformer and then a negative right to the input. And then of course we just come right out of the transformer and it has a, an input positive and an input negative. I shouldn't call them inputs on that side because they're actually outputs the way that it's listed on here. So take a look at this, here's just the switch. So you can see it's turning the light on and everything's fine. The reason I have this little black cable hanging here is it just needs to go back to a negative to power that LED on the light, but I wanted to keep the circuit as simple as possible. So let's zoom in and take a look at this transformer. So it's a GYVRMK241205. And what it's saying is right here, it says the input side, it can handle up to 24 volts. And on the output side, it can kick up or kick out 12 volts at five amps of 60 watts. And notice right here, there's a little range that says it can handle 15 to 40 volts of input power. So that's pretty cool. So you can put quite a wide range of uh, batteries right here on this system. Now on the output though, it's always going to kick out 12 volts at 5 amps of 60 watts. And if you overpower this system, you could fry it. So you want to be careful and possibly put a 5 amp fuse on this line over here. So that yellow line is actually the positive side coming out and then the black is the negative. Anyways, that's all it takes to transform power so that you can make custom lighting or custom flashlights and basically power any light that you desire.